Welcome to Machine Learning Tutorial. In this video, we will understand Bayesian belief network with a simple numerical example. This is example number one. The link for the other examples is given in the description below. This is the problem definition. You have installed a new burglar system at your home. The burglar system works uh, fairly reliable at detecting the burglary, but sometimes uh, responds to minor earthquakes. You have two neighbors, John and Mary, who have promised to call you at work when they hear the alarm. John always calls when he hears the alarm, but sometimes confuses the telephone ringing with the alarm and calls too. Mary likes loud music and sometimes misses the alarm. Given the evidence of who has called and who has not called, we would like to estimate the probability of burglary in the home. In this case, uh, the probability of alarm depends on burglary as well as the earthquake. If there is a burglary, the alarm starts ringing as well as if there is a minor earthquake, the alarm starts ringing. Also, the John calls if there is an alarm and Mary calls if there is an alarm. Also, probability of uh, individual events were given to us. That is probability of B is equal to 0.001 and probability of earthquake is equal to 0.002. Similarly, the probability of no burglary is 1 minus 0.001. Probability of no earthquake is equal to 1 minus 0.002. Probability of alarm depends on burglary and earthquake. Hence, uh, we need to write something like this. Probability of alarm given BE is 0.95 whenever there is a burglar and earthquake, 0.94 whenever there is burglar but no earthquake, 0.29 whenever there is no burglar but earthquake, 0 0.001 whenever there is no burglar and no earthquake. Similarly, we need to calculate the probability of no alarm given BE, that is the probability that there is no alarm given burglar and earthquake is equal to 1 minus 0 0.95 that is equal to 0 0.05 here and uh, whenever there is no alarm given b that is no burglar there is a burglar but there is no earthquake is equal to 1 minus 0 0.94 which is equal to 0 0.06 similarly we need to calculate the remaining probabilities probability of john uh, calling depends on alarm so that's the reason probability of john calls given alarm is equal to 0.90 and probability that John calls given there is no alarm is equal to 0 0.05. Again, we need to calculate the two more probabilities here. That is probability that there is John uh, not calling given alarm is equal to 1 minus 0.90 that is equal to 0 0.1 here. Probability that John will not call given no alarm that is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05 which is equal to 0 0.95. The last one is probability that Mary calls given alarm is equal to 0 0.70. Probability that Mary calls given no alarm is equal to 0 0.01. We need to calculate two more probabilities similar to the previous one. That is probability that Mary will not call given alarm is equal to 1 minus 0 0.70 which is equal to 0 0.30. Probability that Mary will not call given no alarm is equal to 1 minus 0 0.01 which is equal to 0 0.90. Given these uh, uh, events and the probabilities, we need to answer few questions. So the first question in this case is, uh, what is the probability that the alarm has sounded, but neither burglary nor earthquake has occurred, both John and Mary has called. So in this case, we have been given all the events, that is uh, burglary, earthquake, alarm, John and Mary. Considering all the events, we need to calculate the joint probability distribution. So, uh, probability that John has called, Mary has called, there is an alarm, but no burglar and no earthquake is equal to. The probability of John depends on alarm, hence it is equal to probability that John calling given A. Probability of M depends on alarm again, hence uh, probability of M given no uh, alarm. Alarm depends on burglary, hence probability of burglary as well as earthquake, hence the probability of A given negation of B, negation of E. 
why we have taken negation of b and negation of e is it is given in the problem definition saying that there is no burglar and no earthquake finally burglary and earthquake does not depends on anything and probability of negation of b probability of negation of e here we need to put all the values uh, from this uh, table we will get the answer as 0 0.00062 so this is the joint probability distribution when all the events were given to us similarly we need to answer one more question that is uh, what is the probability that john has called in this case we have been given only one probab one event that is john has called we don't know anything about the other events that is mary alarm earthquake and burglary so we need to consider the bayesian belief network and then we need to solve this particular question so this is the network given to us what is given here is in the problem definition is john is calling we don't know anything about the remaining events so the probability of john calling depends on what alarm that is probability that john will call whenever there is a alarm whenever there is a telephone ringing he will misses the alarm and he will call it so there are two possible cases john will call given alarm john will call there is no alarm so we can write that probability of john calling is always equal to probability that john will call given alarm probability of alarm plus probability that john will call there is no alarm probability of no alarm now we know we know the value of probability that john will call given alarm that is equal to how much 0 0.90 also we know the value of probability that john will call there is no alarm that is equal to how much 0 0.05 now the question is how to find the value of probability that alarm and probability that there is no alarm so probability of alarm and no alarm depends on burglary and earthquake but we don't know anything about burglary and earthquake whether burglary and earthquake has happened or not happened Hence, we need to consider all four possible cases. There is a burglary, there is an earthquake. There is a burglary, but no earthquake. There is no burglary, but earthquake. There is no burglary, no earthquake. These are the four cases. So, we can write probability of uh, alarm something like this. Probability of alarm given burglary and earthquake multiplied by probability of burglary and earthquake. Plus, this is the first case. Second condition is probability of alarm given no burglary earthquake probability of no burglary earthquake the third condition is uh, probability that uh, alarm given burglary no earthquake probability of burglary no earthquake last condition is probability of alarm given no burglary no earthquake probability of no burglary no earthquake similarly we need to write the uh, equation for probability of no earthquake no alarm probability of john calls no alarm multiplied by this one probability of no alarm given b probability of b that is the first case probability of uh, no alarm given negation of b e probability of uh, negation of b e that's the second case probability of no alarm given b negation of e probability of b negation e that is the third case probability of uh, no alarm given negation of b negation of e probability of negation of b negation of e now we need to put the values for all these things so first value is probability of uh, john calling given a is equal to 0 0.90 i have written it here this green color whatever we have written this particular thing is solved and the answer for this one is 0 0.00252 now how to write the uh, probabilities is probability of b given probability of a given b e probability of a given b e that is both b and e has happened is 0.95 so that is what the answer for this one now what is the value of probability of be probability of b is known to us probability of e is known to us but probability of be is not known to us now what is the uh, dependency whether burglary depends on anything else no burglary does not depends on anything hence uh, probability of be is equal to probability of b multiplied by probability of e as e is also not depends on anything here uh, probability of b is equal to 0 0.001 probability of e is equal to 0 0.002 so that is the value for this one similarly we need to put the values for all these things we will get the answer as 0 0.005252 plus probability of john calling given uh, no alarm we know that one probability of john calling given no alarm is 0 0.05 that is written here and the one which is written in this blue color i have solved it and i have written the answer as 0 0.9974 so one i will tell you probability of there is no alarm given be Probability of alarm given BE is 0.95.
probability of no alarm given be no alarm given be is equal to that is i will write the value here that is equal to point 0.05 why because 1 minus 0.95 is equal to 0 0.05 similarly we need to calculate the remaining probabilities also here and uh, we need to put those values here we will get the final answer as 0 0.9974 and if you solve this equation the final answer is equal to 0 0.0521 in this case so the probability that john calls is 0 0.0521 so in this video we understood the bayesian belief network with a simple numerical example here we have calculated the two uh, questions one is uh, how to find the joint probability distribution that's the first question Se second one is how to calculate the probability whenever only a single event is given that is called as marginal probability i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.